Okay, I'm sitting here with Trish Nasworthy. It's the day before Easter 2014. They have been making, filling eggs with goodies and money and everything else for the girls and boys that'll come tomorrow. So Trish, where do you live now? I live in Fort Worth. What year did you graduate from Menard? 1971. Okay, y'all had a reunion last year or year before last? Um, a couple of years ago. Yeah. I know you still visit with a lot of your friends. Yeah, there's only there was only 21 in my graduating class, so I see Marlene and Penny Wade and Tenzie and LaRue. Tenzie and LaRue and I had lunch together recently in Austin. How neat. So you, uh, I failed to say you grew up on a ranch in Menard, Texas. That's correct. And uh, first of all, after you graduated, you went to Texas Tech, didn't you? I did. And what did you decide to do at that point in your life? Well, just graduate. <laughs> I changed my major like six times and okay. ended up with more hours in Spanish than anything else, so I got a Spanish degree. And I remember you living in Mexico at one point. I guess that was for mm -hmm. your class you were taking. It was. It was uh, six weeks in San Luis Potosi. Okay, and then you worked for an airport, uh, what, an airline? Air Mexico Airlines is where I, that was my first job out of college. And I worked there for four years, and then I went to law school. Yeah. Well, that's one of, I know that you have uh, worked on some real famous cases. I don't know if you'd want to mention any of them. Probably not. <laughs> <laughs> but we're impressed anyway. <laughs> well, I'm probably the only one that any, most people will know anything. Well, I don't know, there's a couple. One, I helped special prosecute a, like, a case from Terlingua, Texas where a woman got kidnapped by a Mexican national and then he went back across the border after she jumped out of the car in downtown Terlingua and to escape from him. And a posse of armed men went into Mexico and got him out of the jail, broke him out and brought him back to Texas and tied him to a tree and then called the sheriff and said, the guy you're looking for is at the roadside park. Shame they don't work like that all the time. Exactly. I think that was the woman from Junction, wasn't it? No, she was the postmaster in Terlingua. Oh, okay. Seemed like uh, the couple from Junction were held hostage by some radical military group down in that part of the world mm, that makes sometime sense. a few years ago. And then I helped defend the woman who shot Selena. Yes. Worked on that. Case. That was interesting. And so you were assistant district attorney in Houston? Yes, and for six years, and then I did criminal defense work. And then I've been a prosecutor in Grand Prairie for 15 mm -hmm. years now. That's wonderful. I know you were in Menard for a short time, but I guess mm -hmm. when people paid you by mowing your yard, <laughs> it wasn't too profitable. It but. was not profitable. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, it was wonderful talking to you, Trish. I hope you all have a good Easter tomorrow. All right. Thank you. Mm, bye. Bye. <laughs> I feel like I'm on the phone.